Hello everyone, my name is Priya and I welcome you all back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. In the last video, we discussed about Article 41 that is right to work, to education and to public assistance in certain cases. If you haven't seen that video yet, then the link is given in the description box. Today, we will be doing Article 42 of DPSP. According to the categorization of articles of DPSP, Article 42 comes under Socialistic Principles. Article 42 talks about provision for just and humane conditions of work and maternity relief. General meaning of humane is showing kindness, sympathy or understanding especially to a person or animal that is suffering. Article 42 says that the state shall make provision for securing just and humane conditions of work and for maternity relief. This simply means that it is the duty of the state to make provisions or schemes for securing mainly two things. Number one, for just and humane conditions of work and number two, for maternity relief. For just and humane conditions of work means giving favorable condition and equal opportunity for every worker. Maternity relief means providing benefits to women who are carrying child. So with this article, constitution has guided states to make provisions for the betterment of these two categories of people. And I think there is no need to give reason why this article has been mentioned separately. As we all know, for centuries, people of labor class has been deprived of good life. They are downtrodden by the people of higher classes, landlords or under whom they work. For example, earlier, zamindars and landlords used to treat the farmers very badly. They used to force the farmers and other laborers to work more than their capacity, ignoring their health, for which the farmers used to get little or no money. Women who used to be pregnant were also treated badly. They also had to work forcibly to feed themselves and their family, which had a very bad effect on their health and their unborn child. Workers who used to work in mines and factories, their health and life were also neglected. So not one, but thousands of examples you will find where people have been treated badly at their workplaces. Reason, poverty, casteism and helplessness. All these things used to happen before independence, but even after independence, it has been seen for many years. And maybe somewhere this happens even today. So there had to be a separate article for this in the constitution. Now let's see few examples of provisions, acts and schemes government has provided for the categories of people mentioned in this article. Under for just and humane conditions of work, some of the schemes are Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Mandhan Yojana, Building and Other Construction Workers Education Scholarship Scheme, Pradhan Mantri Rojgar Pratsahan Yojana. If we talk about acts, the Factories Act 1948, where employer has to ensure the health, safety and welfare of all the workers. The Payment of Wages Act of 1936, against unauthorized deduction or unjustified delay in payment of wages, acts for weekly holiday, hours of work, shift, rest and overtime. Organization like trade union also works to secure the interest of the workers. A lot of NGOs, labor courts are also there. Under maternity relief, some of the schemes are National Maternity Benefit Scheme, Pradhan Mantri Matri Vandana Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matritva Abhiyan, 
if we talk about acts maternity benefit act of 1961 that protect the employment of women at the time of her maternity so these are few schemes and acts government has passed but as i told you these are only few examples apart from these schemes and acts there are a lot more okay now things related to benefits of workers laborers maternity falls under the concurrent list of the indian constitution which means both parliament and state legislature can make laws for the betterment of these people currently there are 100 plus state laws and 40 plus central laws regulating various aspects of laborers and workers so to avoid conflict and complexity among so many laws in the year 2020 government categorized all the labor laws in four different labor codes they are code on wages 2019 occupational safety health and working conditions code industrial relation code and code on social security first labor code that is code on wages was passed in the year 2019 and rest three labor codes were passed in the year 2020 this topic that is categorization of codes is a separate topic in itself so we will discuss this topic separately sometime so that's all about article 42 from my side now you tell me in the comment section that which article of part 3 talks about the rights of laborers i'll see you in the next video with article 43 till then thank you so much for watching this video